Mr. Transformers 96 here with another video. I'm going to be talking about some newly shown Hot Toys figures. This time in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Hot Toys Praetorian Guards, all three of them. Um, they have been shown in the background of the images of the new Kylo Ren figure. I have made a video talking about Kylo Ren, so feel free to check that out. But talking about these Praetorian Guards, I'm quite excited about this. Um, the Praetorian Guards, you know, when I first saw them, uh, I thought that they were, I liked their design, I just wasn't a fan of them being in the Star Wars universe, they didn't look very Star Wars-y, however, I've completely gotten used to the idea of them in Star Wars now, that is, uh, now, it, that is not an issue at all for me, uh, so now I can just really enjoy these characters, and I'm getting extremely excited for these characters, I, I'm really, I'm quite obsessed with them at the moment, actually, so I am incredibly excited to see uh, the hot toys of them now, and I am hoping that they'll be going on pre-order pretty soon, considering that they showed them like in full here I would imagine that these will be going on pre-order I mean my fingers are crossed for next week but who knows maybe they'll wait but I'm really excited to see these and I am completely unsure if I'm gonna buy them or not because I really after the force awakens and I bought uh, three troopers stormtroopers that I you know I really kind of regretted buying a little bit uh, you know I decided that I wasn't gonna buy many troopers from hot toys anymore that it just wasn't worth it uh, just the main the actual characters people with faces are are the ones that I wanted to buy, um, but now I have a heavy pull towards these Praetorian Guards, so we'll see, but good talking about them, we have two here, and you can see like the full body shots of these two, uh, the one on the left looks very nice, this is the one that is in the second wave of the Black Series figures, as well as it's uh, in the three and a quarter inch Walmart exclusive Black Series, that's this Praetorian Guard, um, this is usually my least favorite one and when I talked about the figure arts Praetorian Guards, I said that that was my favorite, or my least favorite design, um, However, the Hot Toys one actually looks really good. I don't know why, but the, the helmet sculpt looks a lot better on the Hot Toys one than in any of the other ones. And as far as like the, the actual shape of the helmet, I think it looks excellent. Um, as far as their armor, their armor looks wonderful. They've got this great gloss to them, and uh, it looks almost like paper mache the way that the arms kind of fold out into each other. I think it looks wonderful. Um, my only issue is articulation. I think that articulation could be limited. As you can see, it looks like they have a solid bend, um, but... Uh, but, you know, it, both, even on the Praetorian Guard on the right, the bend doesn't look very extreme on the elbow. It looks like it's enough. It looks like it's n less than 90 degrees, and then the, the hinge on the uh, wrists are kind of picking up the slack for the rest of it. So um, I'm not quite sure about that articulation. Not to mention, I could see with this uh, glossy plastic um, scratching on each other from articulating the elbows, that could be a huge issue as well. So uh, there are uh, possible issues as far as the armor is concerned. Um, the way that the cloth hangs on... On the uh, the skirt sections that looks wonderful though it looks like they hang very nicely and uh, they look like the perfect thickness and everything um, as far as their weapons uh, my personal favorite weapon from the Praetorian Guards is the one on the left there I, I've always been really into that kind of spear I think it looks wonderful I love the, the shape of the blade it's super nice and then the one on the right um, this Praetorian Guard has his like uh, the kind of sword or bat whatever you want to call it that can also now I, I'm, I don't know if the figure can do this uh, but in the movie it'll be able to like open up and kind of become limb and become more of like a whip um, so that's pretty cool I would imagine that they'll include that as well like a separate version where it's hopefully it's like fully articulated that would be awesome but usually my favorite Praetorian Guard is the one on the right there although this one doesn't look great it's very strange I think that from this from a side angle you'll be able to see the pointed nose a bit more which I'm a big fan of so I do like that version of the Praetorian Guard that version of the Praetorian Guard comes with a larger staff that was his normal weapon which you can see in this photo I mean uh, you can't um you know, they, they, we don't have a wide shot of this photo. However, as you can see, th that Praetorian Guard on the right is the same Praetorian Guard on the right of the other photo, but he is holding his normal spear, which he usually has in the movie there. And then, on, of course, on the left, we do have the third Praetorian Guard, the more samurai-ish helmet design, which, uh, you know, I don't think is bad. However, I am, uh, when, I, when I first saw it, like, ever, like, a few months ago, uh, I did think that that was my favorite. However, since the time has gone on, he, that's almost my least favorite at this point. Unfortunately, I'm just kind of, like, losing interest in that helmet design not a big fan of it now um, but it does look alright obviously the figure itself does look excellent and although you can barely see it you can see that he is holding his signature um, uh, blade like double blade uh, a spear type of thing so um, so that does look nice 
Uh, as far as if I'm going to get them, again, I'm not sure because I wanted to stay away from troopers. However, these look really fantastic, so I definitely could see myself uh, purchasing them. Um, I, you know, I hope that they'd be like a solid price. Now, I certainly don't expect it, but it would be wonderful if they were they were relatively cheap, considering they don't have face sculpts. Um, but they look like they're so they're so intricate in other ways that I, I definitely don't think that's going to be the case. Um, but you know, I I would love for these to cost like two hundred and five dollars a piece, uh, the same price as like the Executioner Trooper. That would be wonderful. I know that that's just wishful wishful thinking on my part. Um, it would be very cool though if they did like a a pack of two or a pack of three um, that did discount because you're buying multiple that would be nice as well but uh overall I think that these look excellent. I am very excited to see them in their full, uh, in full as far as how they're going to release them, if they're going to do any packs, and uh, what weapons will come with wh which of these figures. Because obviously, each of these figures, each of these Praetorian guards in the movie, have like a signature weapon, and then they all kind of like share that bat spear thing. Like uh, that, that I've seen that mostly with the one with the pointy face. Um, th there's a chance. I mean, probably what's going to happen, I guess, is that 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 Praetorian guard will start off with the spear and in this in in the fight he'll probably lose that spear and then he'll pick up this whip bat type of thing um and that's why we see him sometimes with the spear and sometimes with the bat type of thing um but it will be nice to see how they include the weapons and uh they look like excellent figures overall um i could see myself purchasing one i could see myself purchasing two i doubt i would purchase three though i mean three would be very cool to get the complete team however i don't really need it for display i think that i'd be just as happy with two for my display uh, as I would with three so I think that one or two I might get or I might get none but I doubt I'll get them all so there you go that's my thoughts on the uh, the images of the Praetorian guards from the uh, the last Jedi hot toys photos let me know what you guys think of these and thanks so much for watching